Hi, Hi everyone. I'm Linda Sheldon Fell with the International Grief Institute, and I am here with Anna Elizabeth. Anna is the founder of the Five Facets of Healing, and she is going to be teaching a class on the International Grief Institute platform on January 2nd called Introduction to Meditation. Welcome, Anna. Hi, Linda. Thank you. It's good yeah. to see you. Yeah, you as well. So what are the benefits of meditation? So meditation has been around for centuries, and we'll talk more about that tomorrow. But it, it's been around because there are many benefits. One of the best things that I love about meditation is that it actually addresses all five of our facets, which are the academic, emotional, physical, social, and spiritual sides of the self. When we have some sort of meditation practice, we actually can bring healing to all of those five facets. The other thing is, is Deepak Chopra says that the average person has about 50,000 thoughts a day. Can you imagine when I read, when I read, no, I believe that to be true. <laughs> I thought it was just my brain. And I thought, well, if the average person is 50,000, I don't even want to know what mine is, but meditation can actually help settle that down and give you a break from all that incessant thought and thinking. And then also, as we know, when we can calm the mind, we also calm the body. And the, the practice of meditation itself works on calming the body. And so when you integrate all of those things, it really brings an overall balance and sense of peace to the body as okay. a whole. Well, that sounds really good. Um, I have to confess, I've never done meditation. So I'm really excited about your class. What are students going to learn in your class? So in this introduction, I do teach three levels of meditation. And in okay. this first, this introduction, it really is sort of a beginner's class. Um, they're going to learn a brief history about meditation. Okay. They're going to learn uh, different types of meditation that are out there because meditation isn't just one thing. We think of sitting in that, that pose, that Zen pose and not moving. Really, there are many forms of meditation okay. that can reach a broad audience. And so we'll be talking about that. So the different um, people participating can decide what might work for them or give them some things to explore. Okay. Uh, we're going to talk about how somebody can actually create their own meditation practice that works for them based on their needs and okay. their lifestyle. Okay, so it's not one size fits all, which makes sense because grief isn't one size fits all either. And so meditation can be uh, personalized. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, it really, okay. it really can. And oh, cool. until I started meditation, I really had this misconception that it is somebody sitting in a pose and not talking yeah. and not moving. And I'm <laughs> thinking, oh, my aching muscles just watching people. There really are many forms and many ways to meditate. And okay. I, I do. There's one of them that's out there is the guided meditation where uh, people have CDs and music, and you can listen to that and meditate with that. The way I teach this is it's a practice of self-care. And I teach it so that people can help themselves when they need it most. So okay. if it's 3 o'clock in the morning and your counselor's not available or your best friend's not available, how can you help yourself? So I do tomorrow, I will lead a short meditation just so people can get a feel for how it works. Um, and then we'll set them up so that they can they can do their own. But there are so many ways and uh, simple strategies that you can meditate to bring calm to any situation that you have, grief or otherwise. Okay. One of the, one of the classic examples that I I use when I'm um, teaching students is that, oh, remember how people say when you're angry, count to 10. And we all, right. Yeah. Grief, right. Anger is a part of grief. Count to 10. And what always goes through my mind is one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> <laughs> to me, that's not very relaxing, right? 
No, no, granted, they they want you to count a little more slowly. But sometimes we go through that. We're like biting our tongues and, and getting to 10 like this isn't working. But honestly, this one of the basic principles of meditation is just to focus on your breath. So when instead of counting to 10, I breathe in. And breathe out. So you're breathing in to a count of three and out to a count of three or whatever works for you. I find three is a good and you just focus on that breath. And one of the things that Eckhart Tolle says is that when you are focusing on your breath, you can't be thinking about anything else. And it really ah. is true. It really is true. So at its at its simplest form, that is a, a a type of meditation that you can use in an instant to bring calm. So okay. we'll be expanding well, just, on that. On just two. watching you do the, the example of um, your counting to three while you're breathing, um, I felt calmer. <laughs> so, yeah. so I'm excited for your class. Um, you know, people who are grieving, uh, you know, we've got needs that, uh, it might not apply to other people. So how can meditation benefit people who are grieving? Really, it is kind of universal. But as we know, um, anger tends to be one of the, the experiences and emotions that we have that is fluid and ambushes us when we're in active grief. So the meditation definitely helps with that. The other thing that we experience when we're grieving, those 50,000 thoughts are magnified, right? We have mm. guilt, shame, what could I have done? What should I have done? Maybe should I do this? Should I do that? Now, where do we go from here? So we get bombarded with even more thoughts. So the meditation, again, helps to settle that academic facet, that academic mind. So because, as you know, it becomes like a hamster wheel, yep. right? Those thoughts, they and the, the more rampant they become, the faster they tend to get. Right. So well, it does help with that. It will give us um, a clearer mind so that it will help us prepare for that next move, that next phase, whatever we want to do. Um, it soothes anxiety. And when people are grieving, there's a lot of unknowns. There's a lot of fear, creates a lot of anxiety. So it will help with that. And as we know, Grief that is not treated can cause physical ailments. Very so true. Very true. Can help keep the muscular, the physical body sort of relaxed and calm to sort of stave off some of those others. And then again, coming back to that, how can you help yourself when you need it most? When you're in the grocery store and you feel, you hear a song and you, you start to have that sort of rise of panic and where do I go and yeah, what do I do, good. right? Just that simple breathing technique, that meditation can help you in an instant sort of bring bring calm to the body. Well, thank you. I'm excited uh, because I am one of those people that wake up at 3 a.m. with 50,000 thoughts running through my head. <laughs> So I'm real excited for your class. Uh, we invite you to join us in Anna Elizabeth's class uh, on the IGI platform. It is scheduled for January 2nd at, let's see, 8 p.m. Eastern time. And you can register at www.internationalgriefinstitute.com. So I hope to see you there. Thanks so much, Elizabeth, Anna Elizabeth. It's good to see you. Thank you. You too, Linda. We'll see you soon. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.